All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, we got some new, we got some news uh, today. We got some, we got some things. We got, we got some news states, some things we got to get into. I know you see the Sixers jersey on. Don't worry, I'm still an Ohio State fan. Uh, so let's get started with the. So there's some good news and some bad news. So let's start with that with the good news, right? We have two returning start. We have two return, returning players coming back at Ohio State, the X Man and K Stover. So let's talk about K Stover first, right? So he was he played really well the first first half of the season was really he was really good for us made a lot of plays early in the season kind of later season got banged up a little bit kind of struggled catching the ball uh, you know it was his the status was up in the air uh, decided to come back had a back injury in the Peach Bowl game but I think this is a really good thing I think there's some things he needs to work on I think you know uh, his blocking uh, wasn't great his perimeter blocking was not the best uh, this year. And we really that that really hurt us in uh, in a lot of games, you know that helps with the screenplay. I know a lot of people people hate hate the screenplay, but the reason why the screen the screen the wide receivers wide receiver screens didn't work is because of perimeter blocking, and he just wasn't great at that. So he's gonna come back and try to work on. Hopefully, he can work on those things. Also, contested catching uh, struggled uh, struggled that struggled uh, with that, especially uh, later in the season. Um, Especially in that Michigan game where he had, if he had a touchdown, that would have been, I think, would have, it would have, we would have made the game a little bit closer, and would have probably changed the momentum. He dropped, he dropped it, and he, he, he's, I think he's got to work on, the, he's got to work on those two things, those uh, perimeter, uh, perimeter blocking, uh, blocking, just blocking and just get better at those, just become a master at that, and also uh, contested catching, especially if you're a tight end, you're not going to get open all the time because you're, you're a bit slower. I think this is a really, I think that's a really uh, good decision, a good move. Uh, we need that. We need a tight end, a veteran, veteran tight end. You know, we have some talented guys like G. Scott. Um, what's his name? <clears throat> Joe Warrior, who's who has Joe, Joe Warrior, who was um, you know, very very highly, uh, very high ta very highly touted. Uh, had a lot, gave, had a lot of praise uh, in the off season, but you know, a lot of things off the field uh, happened. A lot of things happened. Bad things happened to him. So, you know. Uh, you know, getting case getting case over back is gonna help with uh, depth because we don't never we never know what's gonna happen. Some guys might transfer. Also, next Xavier Johnson, my favorite Buck guy. I said early, earlier, uh, earlier in the off season, I I said I said this guy was gonna make big plays when we needed him, and he did that pretty much the whole season. I only counted like two or three games that he was gonna do that, but he made big plays the whole off season. Uh, not the whole, whole off season, but the whole. The whole season, he's coming back. He, he was a uh, huge for us. He's a Swiss Swiss Army, Swiss uh Swiss Army knife. Made a lot of made a lot of plays for us. Became became a really okay became a Buckeye favorite, and I knew this guy was going to be great, especially in the off season. If you watch the uh, student appreciation um, highlights, he stood out to me. Spring game he stood out to me. He was always making plays, and you need guys like that. You need guys like that who are willing to do to do what it takes. Again, he was a he was a um, he was um a walk on, uh, became a was a uh, was a cornerback, and you know of course uh, moved around a little bit. So he's just a Swiss Army knife, and you, you need guys like that on a championship level team. Every championship level team has that guy that's gonna do what it takes, and it's kind of a Swiss Army Swiss Army knife like him. So he, he's really great. So now into the, into the bad news, right? So we have three offensive linemen. Leaving three big guys that we are uh, we're, we're, that they're gonna leave now. Of course, we expected two of those guys to go, uh, Paris Johnson and um, Dewan, yeah, Dewan Jones. But the surprising one was Luke Weipler, right? I think a lot of Buckeye fans expected him to come back, but he's deciding to leave, and I think I suspect that's because of also, oh, yeah, yeah, one thing. Uh, we did not get this transfer from uh, Washington State. He decided to go. He decided to go to USC. I think uh, I was hearing on a uh, Buckeye. It was Buckeye Scoop. Uh, they were talking about how he, how, how he wanted that. He wanted a guarantee spot, and Ohio State wasn't offering that. But I, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't read anything on that. But back to the back to the offensive line. So we have three guys uh, leaving. Two of them we we already we already kind of expected that, that those guys were going to leave. Um, but Luke Whitefler was kind of a was kind of a, a little bit of a shock. Um, but he played he played extremely well, especially against the number one, uh, probably the number one player in college football, uh, Jalen Carter. Played extremely well. 
did what uh, did a, uh, did a lot in that game, but we did not expect that we expected him to come back and you know improve his drops uh, drops uh, drops drop stock even more. But if you go on if you go on Twitter and Pro Football Focus said he was the number one rated center in center in uh in you know in their whatever metrics and take it take it for granted. We know Pro, pro Football Focus kind of you know they kind of overinflate and stuff, do all that type of stuff. But again, he's still he's still a great player. So that's kind of that's kind of shocking. So three guys are gone. Three major pieces are gone. And that was kind of a shock. So and we don't we don't know what's gonna happen with um Matthew Jones. Uh he's still uh, it's still up in the air. So if he's gone it's gonna be con it's gonna be concerned. So I'm I'm a little bit concerned right I'm a little bit concerned uh uh <laughs> I'm a little bit concerned with that. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Alright guys I'm out.